hello and welcome to Deezer Solution. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to buy from Binance P2P. And I'm assuring you that once you're able to watch to the very end of this video, you will be able to buy by yourself easily and um, because i'm going to show you the safest way to buy so i would advise you not to skip any part by the way if you are new here we talk about make money tech and life-changing topics if that sounds interesting to you please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up on this video because we help this video to gain more visibility i will appreciate that thank you so without further ado let's get right into it okay so we are on the binance interface right now so let me go to the pre to p trading so once i'm into the p2p trading you can see i tap on p2p trading and i'm here so please um i would like you to pay more attention because this is the starting of everything so now i will go to filter the reason why i'm going to filter is especially if you are a beginner tap on filter to type in the amount of um usdt that you want to buy if it is in naira you put the amount in naira all right this feature is for you to go straight to the person and tap on only show ad from merchants and tap on yes the reason why you are showing ad from merchants is because if there's any issue um um these are reliable people that um they have been recognized on binance and they've done well you know they are special people so now before that make sure that the amount you want to buy is around the you can see it's around ten thousand to eleven so because i put in the filter and you can see the circle place which shows that what they are verified so that is why i want you to buy from verified seller to be safe okay so now i'm typing in ten thousand naira and if i don't want to type in ten thousand naira i can also put in the amount of usdt i want so just click on buy crypto so once you click on buy crypto you enter the quantity of usdt you want maybe you have a particular unit of usdt that you have in mind maybe 30 40 50 you don't care they are, you don't care about the amount in naira or in dollars okay just type me the amount but right now i'm specifically going for ten thousand naira just for the sake of this video i want to make because this video is long due then click on buy with zero fee once you click on that buy then we are in the interface please pay attention okay this is where the uh, this is the beginning of your trading this is one of the most important places so that chat is maybe you want to chat with someone you want to chat with a person but before then let me head to this place because that is how you're going to see where to pay the person to payment page so once you are in go to payment page to get the details the the, the name of the person the account number all right you can see that's the account number i need to blow this um, cover this place because for safety purpose all right so this you, this is the place you'll be seeing the name of the person the back account name number and the name so you copy the account number and go straight to your bank app but before then you once you're done make sure you copy it like this way tap on that icon so you copy the account number the the bank name you already have it in your mind so all you just need to do which is the most important thing is to copy the account number like i did all right so right now you can't see anything because i'm already in the app i'm in my app already so i'm trying to make um the transaction i'm trying to pay to make payments and also make sure that you confirm the person's name make sure the person's name is the same name on the bank um you want to use all right the name that you sh that is shown on binance should be the same name when you are making payments because sometimes it doesn't tally so if it doesn't tally i don't go ahead to make the payment if you see benga on the payment page on binance benga should be the same name when you're opening your bank app before you send the money you know bank will come want you to confirm if it is the same name all right so make sure it is the same name that you are paying into it is the same name that is shown to you on the payment page on the binance all right otherwise i do not go ahead so i'm still um i'm about to finish this all right so 
i'm done i've made my payment so now i'll click on transferred only so i'm done click transferred notify make sure you click transferred notify very very important if you don't click this place the time we keep reading and the person can cut off once you make your payment click on that transfer notify all right so once you do that this place this is a this is what you'll be seeing you'll be seeing cancel and you'll be seeing appeal all right so the reason why you need to go to the chat is to chat the person up that hello i've made payments please confirm once you've seen so you can see i want to message the person now that payments has been made payment made please confirm please released please release asap once confirmed all right so i'll just send like that so sometimes you don't even have to send message all right the person any person that want to sell will, will always be online all right so now you tap on for you to leave this place tap on this x so that you'll be back at the previous page that we are on so now we are back here so now you just wait on this place you can see releasing so we are expecting the other party to release and um there's another thing i want to show you which is where is it so okay hold on let me sh circle the place out for you yeah you can see appeal once it is time and the person refused to send the money this place that you are seeing will be highlighted in yellow you can see it is currently the box is still ash color but once the time has elapsed and um, it has ended, it will see yellow. It will be highlighted in yellow. So it will be clickable. But right now, we can't click it. And the meaning of appeal is maybe you've made payments and the person has not yet sent your money within that 15 minutes. All right. So this place is where you happy. So that's why I always advise anytime you're making your payments, make sure you use a good um, bank that will always give you details, maybe your emails and or even in the app that they will show you the exact person you sent to and the amount because those are things that you need to screenshot once there is need for anything. But if you are a beginner, do not be scared, okay? It is easy. Ah, yes, I will advise you can start with 1000 Naira, you know, just use it to practice because if you don't start, if you don't do it, many people are always scared to do B2P, but nothing, you just have to wait, all right so and um, as you can see releasing it means that we are waiting for the other party to release so like as i was saying don't be scared you can just start with 1000 error all right and that's just it so once you click that um once you've notified that you've paid you need to see this place you have marked the order as paid please wait for sellers to confirm and release the assets so make sure once you see this thing it means that yes you've notified that you have made payment all right it is very important don't get carried away and um yeah the order is in you can see p2p order has been completed you will receive that message from binance when you re once you receive that message from binance then your coin is now in your what in your your wallet all right so let me show you how to check so first you need to go to to check because it will not you will not find it here you can see these are some of the coins i have here so you go to funding you will not see your coin that you just bought on spot the only place you need to go to is to go to funding so once you are in funding let me refresh all right okay you can see you can see 17.33 so now this money is not meant to be here especially if you want to trade it you have to take it to your spot all right because you can see some of my other coins on the spot so now this one i need to transfer it to spot so for me to do that let me go ahead to show you how to do that very simple 
at this moment if you are here to hit this if you are here to hit the like button please give this video a like for more visibility i will appreciate that and subscribe to the channel for more videos helpful videos thank you so much so right now i've clicked on transfer so the next thing you will need to do you can see funding up from funding to sports wallets okay so that's to show you we are correct so now we bought usdt not btc so we are changing it you tap on the arrow then you search for usdt all right this is it now this is you can see available below 17.33 so you click on mass and confirm transfer and once you do that all right you are done and your dollar has been sent to your spot